sitting outside, obviously. Uh, I've got our Hope Mobile, our 38 foot motorhome in front of me, <laughs> and we're gonna be pulling out in a couple of weeks to be traveling full time for our ministry to grieving parents sharing hope, GPS hope. There's a squirrel running around over there. <laughs> yes, squirrel! <laughs> Distraction, right? I'm so easily distracted. The thought that I would like to share with you today is something that I posted on Facebook within the last few days. And it was based on a conversation I had a while back with Shelly Ramsey. And something she said struck me, and it was along the line of not letting our grief, the death of our child, define us, but to let it refine us. And I know that's a hard thing to do. I know when Becca died, I felt like I wanted to introduce myself to people like, hi, I'm Laura and my daughter died. I just felt like that became who I was. And I've heard from a lot of you that you feel the same way. And so it's normal. It's normal for us to feel that way because being a parent is our identity. And then when one of our children is gone, what happens to that identity? Well, guess what? You're still a parent. You are still the parent of your child. That will never end. It doesn't matter where your child is. It doesn't matter if your child has moved across the world. It doesn't matter if your child has moved into a different world. You are still a parent and your identity is still a mom or a dad of that child and any other children that you have who are still here. That identity didn't change. So I really wanna encourage you to make a shift in your focus, make a shift in your thought that your identity is not being a parent of a child who died. Your identity is being the parent of a child who lived. And maybe your child only lived inside your womb and you never got to meet your child or maybe you got to hold that little one for just a little while before they were taken out of your arms. You are still the parent of that child who lived. So remember that. You may not be ready to let it refine you, but um, I just encourage you to move to where it doesn't define who you are, the death of your child. Let the life of your child still define who you are. This is Laura Dio founder of GPS Hope, Grieving Parents Sharing Hope, and we are here to be a light in your darkness uh, for parents who have lost a child, to be light, hope, and bring purpose to your life once again. You can find us at www.gpshope.org.